Hey, it's Rob Hefner here for Talk the Town, and uh, this is a follow-up to the recap from last week's town council meeting, as promised, and I have with me once again, Councilman Tabor Heisler. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? And I have the uh, town manager, Keith Johnson. Hello, sir. Thank you. So we're going to simply allow uh, Councilman Heisler to respond to you. You, you know, We've talked in the last podcast about you know facts versus not facts or um, conjecture or even stated it as a lie. Um, and you know, the, there's a credibility challenge that's obviously occurring uh, by a group towards the town and towards people on the town council. You were called out specifically, not by name. But but the act. Uh, so why don't, you, why don't you just tell us what happened? Uh, sure. Yeah. So in call to the public, uh, we uh, it seemed as though I was being called out directly. It was very reference to some of the comments I had made during that town council meeting about folks that maybe weren't being so forthcoming with accurate information to members of the public. And uh, they uh, essentially said that during that meeting, I had promised to produce some information. And they said that I had, and I think this was a quote, since refused to produce that information. And, and so that, that information is not accurate. I never promised to produce that information, uh, as is clearly stated in the record from the meeting, um, which is recorded and there's official minutes taken for that. So meeting. let's do this. I'm going to insert the quote right from the meeting. You'll be able to hear exactly what he says. Mr. Ingalls, I, I just have a, just a curious, curious question. If these are people that I know very well, and if I was to go to you and provide you with the signatures of 30 people that said this information was misrepresented to me, would that change your opinion or your group's opinion of how these signatures were collected? I, I can speak for myself. I speak for myself when I'm here. A couple of days later, we got a public information request. Isn't that correct, Keith? Yes. And in that public records request, it was stated um, that Councilman Heisler had clearly stated that he would provide the names, which was not, that is not what he said. So we have both. You can go listen to the YouTube. You can go watch it on the YouTube video and then see once again this claim made in the uh, in the uh, next meeting. And you'll see who was who was reading the, the letter and then who actually made the statement. That's all clearly stated there. This reads, I would like a copy of the applicable petition circulation sheets associated with the referendum of resolution 22, 1364, with the highlighted names of the 20 to 30 people that would not have signed the petition referenced by one of the town councilors at the 5th of January town council meeting. The councilor clearly, uh, uh, yes, councilor clearly stated that he would share the names, though he has since refused to do so, do such, when asked by myself, Mr. Robert Ingalls. So it's all on record. Those are actual records. So for a public record request, it has to actually be a record, isn't that correct? Yes, uh, we don't. We're not required to create a document for a public records request. If it's a, they can. You can always request a specific document, and we make those available. But we do not. We're not required to go and create a new document. Okay, so Councilman Heisler, you represent the people of the town of Pine Top Lakeside. Correct. What did you go through to be able to earn that ability to do that? Well, again, we had to go through the signature process. We had to go through an election um, in which people voted for you. And of course, if you got the most votes, you became the representative of, of the people. Okay. And just so people that are listening understand, how long has this term been for you this time? Uh, two months. Yeah. So we, actually, what's the term start? January? Uh, the 1st of December. Oh, 1st of December. Yes. So yeah. So you were just elected. Correct. It's not that you've been elected and on for years and now you need to go because, you know, you, you've lost your way. You just got reelected by the people. Correct. Okay. And just a note on that, that uh, if I recall, you were appointed in February. So for the 10 months leading up to the election, the public were, was able to see your performance and your representation of the community and you were reelected. Okay. So we just wanted to set that to rest and uh, deal with the, the actual facts and the truth of the matter. Yeah, correct. And uh, I, I think that, uh, again, this this was a uh, what I would consider maybe not so much a, a bold-faced lie as maybe we had talked about in previous meetings, but this was definitely a, a twisting of the facts of that meeting. And I think in, in an attempt to um, impugn my character now um, and, uh, and twisting my words to say something that I didn't say. And, and again, it's clearly stated on the record. It's in the meeting minutes. You can go back and look at it for yourself and see that that, that, that promise was not 
not a promise that I made nor a promise that I didn't keep uh, because that promise was never made to begin with. Thank you, sir. Anything else, gentlemen? Not that I have. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. That'll be it uh, for this episode of Talk of the Town. I'm Rob Hefner here for the town of Pine Top Lakeside. If you have any questions, all our information is down below or simply stop in. 